Nearly one third of the children in Sierra Leone will not live to the age of five, often suffering from illnesses easily treated in the developed world. At the same time, increasing urbanization and affluence have led to overnutrition in areas like India and China, which now represent more than half of all type 2 diabetes cases. And new infectious disease, like multi-drug resistant tuberculosis, can spread from one continent to another in the time span of a transatlantic flight. Just as with the economy and politics, we now live in a global village in terms of health. And as health is a crucial prerequisite for development, without it, cycles of poverty and injustice feed each other, making us all more vulnerable to a myriad of global threats. That's why Johns Hopkins, through our Global Health Initiative, is assembling the best minds from across our divisions to address the root causes of global health challenges like diabetes, cancer, heart disease, and HIV AIDS. There's no question our experience in global health is extensive, with 666 grassroots health projects in 101 countries. In fact, one program implementing the application of chlorhexidine onto umbilical cords at birth has already demonstrated a 25% reduction in infant mortality. But in the face of underlying causes like governmental failures and inequity, we must design multifaceted interventions, bringing together our experts in international affairs, social and environmental sciences, ethics and engineering to leverage both creative thinking and technological advances. For example, during the past several years, multiple Johns Hopkins divisions have united to use powerful satellite technology and environmental data to predict and head off malaria outbreaks. This and other activities have reduced infections by nearly sevenfold. Building on this success, we are now exploring the use of predictive modeling to anticipate and contain the threat of possible future pandemics. And it's with just this kind of visionary collaboration that the Johns Hopkins Global Health faculty and students, today's and tomorrow's leaders, will employ groundbreaking approaches while taking into account cultural context for a holistic view of global health threats and needs. The result will be a dynamic pipeline of innovative and bold practices and a powerful educational program that ensures structures are in place to sustain interventions, secure health, a human right for everyone and save lives worldwide.